Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and for today I have a beginner full body Pilates workout for you. So let's get started in a seated position with our knees bent. Take your hands behind your thighs. Inhale, lengthen your spine, opening through your chest. And exhale, round your spine, tucking your chin down towards your chest, feeling a stretch for your back. And again, inhale as you lengthen, exhale as you round. Let's do two more of these. Taking your gaze slightly up as you open through your chest and then drop your chin down as you round your spine. Last one, inhale, lengthen. And this time as you round, let's carefully walk our hands down our thighs, lowering ourselves all the way down to our back. Rest your head, bend your knees and scoot your feet in towards your glutes. Take your hands on top of your rib cage and feel free to close your eyes. On your inhale, feel your rib cage grow out to the side, expanding into your hands. And on your exhale, close your ribs in and drop them down towards your hips. Let's do this a few more times. Inhale through your nose, expanding through your rib cage. Exhale through your mouth, closing your ribs in and lowering your ribs down to your hips. Keep going. Each time that you inhale, really try to expand through your rib cage versus lifting through your chest. And on your exhale, feel that closing in of your ribs and dropping of your ribs down towards your hips, engaging through your abdominals and flattening through your lower abs. Then from here, let's take our hands behind our head, interlacing your fingers, elbows nice and wide. Take your inhale. This time on your exhale, as you lower your ribs down to your hips, lift your head and shoulders up, gazing towards the top of your thighs. Then inhale, come back down. Exhale, you lift up, keeping your chin dropped down towards your chest and inhale, lower back down. So really important here that we are using the strength of our abdominals and that rib to hip connection to lift our head and shoulders up versus pulling on our neck with our hands to prop ourselves up. Let's do two more of these. Exhale as you curl up, inhale as you lower, and on your last one, let's hold in our curl. Extend your left arm past your hip and let's start pumping that left arm. Nice inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Keeping your chin drop down towards your chest, supporting your neck with your right hand, Last one, inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Stay lifted, let's switch hands, and let's go. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Every time that you inhale, you're really thinking of drawing up through your pelvic floor muscles, and every time that you exhale, you're dropping your ribs down towards your hips, one more round, inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Well done, rest your head back down. And let's take our hands now down by our sides. Imprint your spine. So all that means is using your lower abdominals, press your lower back down into the mat. So there's no gap between your lower back and the mat. One leg at a time, lift your legs to a tabletop position. Your knees are directly over your hips and they're hip distance apart. Exhale, tap your right toe down to the mat. Inhale, lift it back up. Then exhale, tap your left toes and inhale, lift back up. 
So as you exhale and tap your toe down, think again of dropping your ribs down towards your hips, maintaining that imprinted spine position. Now you can stay here with your hands on the floor, or if you want more of a challenge, take your arms up towards the ceiling. And as you lower your right foot down, reach your left arm overhead and come back through center, other side, left toe taps, right arm reaches back. So exhale as you reach the arm back and the foot down, inhale as you bring them back through center. As you reach that arm back behind you, make sure that you're not flaring through your rib cage. We want to keep our ribs nice and closed in. Now you can stay with this or let's take our hands behind our head again, elbows wide and lift our head and shoulders up into our abdominal curl. Same thing. Exhale, tap your right toes down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap your left toes. Inhale, lift. Stay with this, or let's add a twist. Exhale, bring right elbow to left knee as you tap your right toes down. Then inhale, come back through center. Other side, left elbow to right knee as you tap your left toes down, and then come back through center. Keep going with this at your own pace making sure that you keep your lower back in contact with the mat as you tap your toes down to the floor. Keep breathing, exhale, twist, inhale, center, exhale, twist, inhale, center. Let's do one more on each side. Last one. Well done, hug your knees in and rest your head back down. Let's take our feet back down onto the floor now. Shuffle them in towards your glutes so that you can tickle the back of your heels with your fingers. Make sure your feet are hip distance apart and in parallel. On your exhale, tuck your pelvis under and roll your hips up vertebra by vertebra, squeezing your glutes lifting your hips up to a bridge height. Hold on your inhale, then exhale, vertebra by vertebra, roll your hips back down. Hold for your inhale, and then exhale, tuck your hips under, roll your hips up again, finding your bridge. Inhale at the top, exhale, roll back down. Really trying to articulate through your spine here. Finding a nice squeeze through your glutes as you lift those hips up towards the sky. Really press through the heels of your feet to help engage the base of your glutes and stay relaxed through your shoulders and your upper body. On this next one, let's hold our hips high, making sure our hips are tucked under and there's no arching through your spine. Keeping your hips still, inhale, reach your arms overhead by your ears and exhale, tap your arms back down. So inhale, they reach over, exhale, they lower. So the challenge here is keeping the rest of your body super still. It's just your arms moving. Make sure that as you reach those arms overhead that your ribs are not flaring open. We wanna keep them closed in and keep our core engaged. Let's do one more. Then hold your palms pressing down into the mat. Keeping again your hips super still. On your exhale, lift your right leg up to a tabletop position and inhale, carefully set your right foot back down. Exhale, left leg lifts. Inhale, set the left foot down. So just alternating lifting one leg at a time, focusing on keeping your hips nice and stable and level and squeezing through your glutes to keep your hips lifted. Let's do one more on each side. 
Then after your last one, hold both feet down, re-tuck your hips under. Keeping your hands on the mat, or if you want more of a challenge, extend your arms up towards the ceiling and let's pulse our hips up and up. Just eight more. Seven, pressing through the heels of your feet. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold your hips high. Take your hands back down to the mat and then vertebra by vertebra, roll your hips all the way back down to the floor. Well done. Okay, we have a little bit more ab work to do. Take your hands behind your head, interlacing your fingers with your elbows wide. Then let's imprint our spine again, pressing our lower back down into the mat and lift your legs to a tabletop position. This time, squeezing your thighs together. On your exhale, curl your head and shoulders up, open your knees, but keep your toes together. Then inhale, come back down. So exhale, you lift up, opening your knees. Inhale, lower back down, closing your knees. So coming into a nice little froggy position with our legs. Think of all of the same techniques that we did before. Last one. Now hold in your curl with your knees open. Let's flex our feet now and squeeze our heels together. Inhale, shoot your legs straight up towards the ceiling, engaging your inner thighs. Exhale, bend your knees back in. Then inhale, shoot your legs out on a diagonal. Exhale, pull your knees back in. Keep going, extending them straight up to the sky, back in and then out to the diagonal and back in. Now, if this is too much with your head lifted, you could always take your head back down onto the mat with your arms down by your side. On your next one, hold your legs up towards the ceiling and point your toes. Start crisscrossing your legs, really working your inner thighs. Maybe take them down a few inches, challenging your lower abs. Maybe even a little bit lower for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done. Hug your knees in, rest your head, turn your head right and left to release any tension. And then let's come on to our side. So coming onto the right side of your body, resting your head in your hand, bend your knees and stack your hips and your legs on top of one another. If being propped up on your elbow starts to bother you a little bit, you could always come all the way down onto your arm, resting your head on your arm. Let's start by opening our left knee out and then close it in. So you just open and close. You have eight more of these. As you open your knee, make sure that your toes stay together and that your hips are not rocking back. So we want to keep our hips nice and still as we open our left knee out. We have two more of these. On this next one, inhale, open your knee. Exhale, extend your leg out in line with your body. Inhale, bring your toes back together and exhale, close your knee back down. So you inhale, open the knee. Exhale, extend, really reaching through your toes. Inhale, bring your toes together. Exhale, close your knees. So this is really great for the outside of our glutes as well as our outer thighs and legs. We do four more of these. Keep trying to stay lifted through the underside of your waist. So keep pushing your hip away from you with that left hand. We have two more. And on this last one, hold your left leg extended out in line with your body. 
Let's take 10 circles in one direction, really reaching with those toes, finding length through that leg, and then reverse it, 10 circles the other way. Taking your left fingertips down onto the mat for a little extra support here. Now hold your circle, keeping your leg at hip height or slightly higher. Flex your foot. On your inhale, kick the leg straight forward. Exhale, point your toes, kick the leg straight back. We do this 10 times. Really focusing on keeping the leg at exactly the same height as you kick the leg forward and kick the leg back. Trying not to rock too much through our hips. We're keeping our core nice and engaged, trying to keep the rest of our body super still. Got two more. Last one, hold your leg extended back, reach your left arm up towards the sky, and let's finish with little pulses. We lift it up and up really reaching through those toes. You got it. This is the final little burn for our glutes. Just 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Rest your leg back down. Give that glute a nice little hit and then push yourself up so that you're sitting on your right hip. Inhale, reach your right arm up towards the sky. Exhale, side bend over to your left. Then inhale, take your right hand down to the mat. Exhale, reach your left arm overhead. And again, inhale, right arm lifts. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, right hand lowers. Exhale, left arm reaches overhead. Well done. Okay, let's switch sides. So now lying down on the left side of your body, let's find that same position. So you can have your head propped up or you can take your left arm long and rest your head on your arm. Whichever option feels best for you. Exhale, open your right knee, inhale, close. So we do this 10 times. Again, making sure that as you open your right knee, that you're not rocking through your hips. We wanna keep our hips super still and really just using the strength of our outer glute and our outer thighs to open our knee. Okay, let's add that extension. So inhale, open your knee. Exhale, extend your leg out in line with your body. Inhale, toes come together. Exhale, close your knee. So inhale, open. Exhale, extend. Inhale, tap your toes. Exhale, close. Make sure here that as you extend your leg out, that it's in line with your body. So it's slightly extending back behind you. Making sure that your hips stay still and they stay stacked on top of one another. Really reach through those right toes, extending through your right leg, finding that engagement through your leg muscles. On your next one, hold your leg extended out. Let's go back to those little circles. So 10 circles one way. Let's take our right fingertips down onto the mat in front of us for a little extra support for this one and reverse 10 circles in the other direction really reaching through those toes finding length through the right side of our body and last one hold your leg still inhale flex your foot kick the leg forward exhale point your toes kick the leg back really important here that as you kick the leg back that you're not arching through your spine so think of that rib to hip connection. Inhale, kick forward. Exhale, ribs drop down towards your hips as you kick that leg back. 
You've got it guys, keep that leg at the same height, embracing the burn that you're feeling in your glutes. Let's do one more. Now hold your leg extended back, final change. Reach your right arm up to the ceiling and let's lift the leg up and up. You got it. Try to lift the leg a little bit higher than hip height. Final little burn here. Let's do 10 more. Nine, eight, really reaching through that right arm. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Good job. Relax that leg back down. Give your glute a little hit and then pop yourself up to that seated position for our mermaid stretch. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Exhale, side bend over to the right. Then inhale, left hand comes down to the floor. Exhale, reach your right arm over. One more time, inhale and exhale, side bend. Inhale, left hand comes down. Exhale, reach your right arm over and then come back up to seated. Well done guys, we don't have too much longer left of class. Let's come into a tabletop position on our hands and knees now. So making sure that your knees are directly underneath your hips and your hands directly underneath your shoulders. Draw your navel in towards your spine, engaging your core. On your inhale, carefully lower your elbows down towards the floor and exhale, straighten your arms. So inhale, you lower your elbows down to the floor Exhale, straighten, keeping your spine nice and straight. One more. Now stay with this, or if you want more of a challenge, inhale, you bend your elbows, your weight shifts back slightly, then shift your weight forward and exhale, press up. So inhale, lower the elbows, shift your weight forward more into your hands and press up. So creating these kind of circles with our body here, really getting into our triceps and the back of our arms. Let's do one more. Well done. Hopefully you felt a little burn through the back of your arms with that one. Okay, from here, staying in your tabletop position, on your exhale, Walk your right foot back into a plank and then your left foot. Then set your right knee back down and your left knee back down. Now lead with the left. You step back and back, then lower the left knee, then the right knee, alternating the leading leg each time that you walk those feet back to a plank. On your next one, hold in your plank position. Draw your navel in, really press through your shoulders. Inhale, lift your hips up and exhale, lower them back down, finding your plank. So you just lift and lower, drawing up through your navel to pike your hips up, really pressing through your shoulders. Each time you exhale, returning to your plank, remember that rib to hip connection. Okay, let's do one more. Now hold in your plank position. We are finishing class today, just holding in this strong plank. So really draw your navel in, take your gaze towards the top of your mat, press through your shoulders and breathe. You're here for eight more seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, well done. Set your knees back down and press your hips back into a well-deserved child's pose. Flip your palms up towards the sky to release any tension through your shoulders and just let your forehead rest heavy into your mat here, letting your whole body relax. Then very carefully, vertebra by vertebra, roll your spine up, finding a nice straight posture. 
Sitting up tall, inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky, interlace your fingers and exhale, side bend over to your right. Inhale, come through center, exhale, side bend to your left. Feeling a nice stretch for the right side of your body. Inhale, come back through center. Then exhale, release your hands behind your back, interlacing your fingers. Inhale, straighten your arms, open through your heart center, taking your gaze up and feeling a nice open sensation through your chest and through your shoulders. Then carefully release. Let's take our hands on top of our thighs, closing our eyes and just take a few big shoulder rolls up and back. and reverse, lifting the shoulders up and forward. Beautiful, let's finish class today with one last big inhale, reaching our arms up to the sky and exhale, lowering our hands down to prayer. Thank you so much everyone for joining me today for this beginner Pilates workout. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much everyone and I look forward to seeing you next time.